So this time is finding the domain and range of your inverse of a function. Okay, how to determine the domain and range of the inverse function? Actually, sa yun kaya siya. Okay, just uh, ano lang. Uh, always remind yourself nga pangutan ni mong self kanus asa ma undefined or ma uh, zero ang denominator. Okay, so first is dito rata mag-focus sa, sa inverse. In finding the domain, dito ka sa inverse. Pag range of the inverse, dito ka sa original function. Okay, so sa domain ta. Okay. First, ang awan na to if ano ba siya? Rational function ba siya? If it is a ra not a rational function or it is if polynomial function siya, always that its domain is always all real numbers. So for this one, since wala may variable sa denominator, this is considered as a polynomial function, it follows the domain is x such that x is an element okay, of real numbers. Okay. Kung na restriction, magdugang ka. Pero pag wala, okay, so that is your domain na dayon. So similar ano polynomial man siya so wala restriction okay kung sa range na dayon ka dadto ka sa original function tanaw na pud nimo kung naabay variable sa denominator okay looking at this one wala yung denominator nga variable so automatic this is your range this time pag range always y ang imuhang gamito that is y such that y is an element of real numbers okay So it is very easy kung polynomial function lang siya. Pero how about kung rational na siya? The next example is for finding the domain and range of the inverse function is katong last na tong example pag kagadya nga ipangita. Nagipangitaan natong inverse. So you have the g function is 2x minus 1 all over 3x plus 4. And its inverse is negative 4x minus 1. All over negative, uh, all over three x minus two. So, for this one, okay, since this is a rational function, na, okay, there is a value of x, okay, or a value, of, uh, a value of, of the variable sa denominator, where in na zero ang atuan denominator. So, tungo na naon is unsa to siyang term or unsa to siyang value para mas maristrik na to sa tuang domain. So for our domain. Domain of our inverse uh, function. Okay, so you have D. Okay. So for this one, then ato sa to ang inverse function. So you have the 3x minus 2. So for this 3x minus 2, then ato sa inverse ka inverse mo tungo pangitaan. So our denominator is 3x minus 2. Okay, equate natin ta to zero. Okay. Para mabalaan nato, what is the value of our x? Okay. Or simply, katotong ginapang solve sa una, the roots. Okay. Or the zeros. What is the value of our x para ma-zero ang ato ang denominator? So, you have the 3x from negative 2 that will become positive 2. Divide both sides by 3. So, you have the x equals 2 third. Okay. So, this value of x must be restricted sa ato ang domain. Okay. If our x is 2 third, this will become undefined or our inverse of function is undefined so therefore our domain is x such that x is an element of real numbers where x must not be equal to okay. and you have now your domain of your function similar sa range of our inverse In finding the range of the inverse Dito mo sa original function, kay. Uh, for this one, our original function, it's, it's inverse kay kani. Our inverse, the inverse of the inverse is the original function. Okay, so, kung, kung kani siya, ang itong pagitan o range, narita mo tanaw. Similar ani, our inverse, kung mangita ang range ani, dito ta sa original. So, narita sa original mga tanaw, sa mga function. For this one, you have A rational function again and we have a denominator which is 3x plus 4 equate na po natin na siya by 
similar sa tagibig ka ganiha, you have the 3x from positive 4, negative 4, and you have divide both sides by 3, so you have the x equals negative 4 third. So when x is negative 4 third, darin, our function, original function, is undefined. So delete with this negative 4 third. But for this time, our range, we have the y such that y. Okay, remember, kung ibali na to, that is y naman daya. So y such that y is an element of the number where y is not equal to negative 4 third. And you have now your domain and Thank you.